Hello and welcome to episode 66 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. And I am already sweating. Yep, you probably didn't need to know that, but it's true. This is a huge game today. PSG in the league. I can't believe that we've got to this point in the season and we're still in the race to win Liga. It would be incredible. It would be Leicester City level incredible. Maybe not quite that incredible. That was, that was insane, but it'd still be pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, we're still in the Europa League, still in the Coupe de France, into the final and semi-final of them, respectively. <sighs> wow. And we've also got a big game after PSG against Marseille. Can we, at the very least, keep our spot in the Champions League? That would be a success. I think the league might still be a little bit far for us to uh, for us to reach, a bit far for us to dream, especially with only uh, three games left. Four games? Is it four games? No, there's still quite a few games left, actually. Someone said that we only had three games left in the league. We've got one, two three, four left in the league, plus the PSG game. So plenty of time for PSG to slip up, actually. But we will need to beat them today. Let's go and take a look at the sides. So a very, very tough matchup here. They're starting Raheem Sterling. Interesting look at that front three. Oh, my word. Deadly. Let's see how we're looking for... Ooh, some tired, tired legs. How? I guess this is fairly recent. After our Europa League battle, my god, we're going to need to make some big changes here. This could be brutal. Well, the front three, I think we can keep the same. That's fine. And at a stretch, probably the midfield as well, with Ben Arthur on a downward arrow. Perhaps we should bring in Toure. That does take us down to 90, and we're going to have some pretty big changes. Maybe Doolin. That takes us down to 93. We'll go with Doolin at defensive midfield. Have Toure as an option off the bench for a bit of extra legs. Do we... Go, oh, it loses us four in team spirit. We're going to lose quite a lot here. Holgate's got to come out. It's got to be Decore coming in. That doesn't affect our team spirit. That's good. And then Tisserand at right back. It takes us down to 93. I guess if we bought in Toure, I, I don't want to go below 90. Can Toure play right back? He can play centre back. We don't have a left back really to replace Duarte. He's going to have to play. That is not ideal. Big Sav as well. We could have bought him out of, uh, out of the wilderness, but he's on a downward arrow. I'm not going to risk it. Bassetto in for Ben Arthur. Ooh, the bench is looking a little sketchy as well. Hmm. Only questions are, should Toure or Moore be playing? I think we'll keep it as it is. Jan Caramo is in excellent form. Koyalapu on a blue. That midfield looking a bit sketchy. It's the same midfield that got us out of League Duh. For them to come in today and us to beat PSG would be a, a real fairy tale. Tiss around at right back, I'm happy with. Decore back in. Bernardoni's tired. This is not ideal. So a win today here in front of the Claremont faithful, would put a huge amount of pressure on PSG. And we've rolled them over in the past, of course we have. Beat him in the uh, Coupe de France, I'm sure they'll be looking to get revenge. It's Neymar leading the side out today alongside Olivier and Cham. Two of the standout players from Liga this season. Neymar still vying for that golden boot, Caramo still ahead of him. This game could, uh, could add to that for either one of them, both in great goal scoring form. It's not our strongest squad today, and there's some poor form and some tiredness, but I still think we've got enough. Come on! Cafu just about gets to that. And Tisserand, lovely little flicked ball into Jan Caramo. He's got Thiago Silva with him. Oh, that's a good ball into Koyalapu. Not a bad first. To oh, he snuck through! Koyalapu! <laughs> Big mistake there from the PSG defence. And only five minutes in, and we're off the mark here. Well, that was, that was, that was a lot easier than I expected. Good win on a blue today. Obviously, that will have helped as he scrapped for the ball back. There's a nice ball here from Caramo. Got to say, that's poor, though. Is that Kurosawa? Should have done better there. Looks to take a touch. Really should have cleared. I would put that down to complacency from this PSG side. Surely they know that they can't take playing, for this, uh, playing against this Claremont side as an easy game, as a gimme. No more is that the case. We are their equals. And recently, we're better than them. Come on. Duarte into a jam. What a first touch that is. He turns away from Pastore. Finds Wellington Nem. He'll put a ball into Koyalapu. Oh. oh, that's a very poor clearance. That's a good tackle there, though. Caramo. Out to Cafu. Back into Jan Caramo. Ball across. Looking for Koyalapu. And there it is. The second goal. And PSG are folding here early on. The 12th man that is this Claremont crowd. Screaming this team forward, pushing them forward with every chant, with every cheer. And it's Goodween, the man, who grabs his second here. And uh, it's more poor defending from PSG. They looked awful. I mean, Verratti there, what are you doing? He's trying to pass it backwards at totally the wrong time. 
It's great work from Cafu to find Caramo and Koyalapu gets ahead of Mokinios and slips in his second. It's a dream start here for Cream Diacra. And uh, that's just that's just basic. Put it into the danger area, into the corridor of uncertainty. And Marquinhos just too slow to react. Cavani will whip this one in. You'd think you'd want him in the centre, getting the head to it. Oh, Cafu nicks it back from Kazawa. So many mistakes from him so far. And Cafu will look to run at him here. Slips in young Caramo. Caramo through on goal. Can he make it three here? The poked finish. Not his best. Space here for Raheem Sterling. His first chance to get involved in this game. Zagadou comes across. Sterling back inside. Edison Cavani. And that's a lovely finish. That's that's what they can do to you. That is what they can do to you. And it was a, a great break there. Duarte out of position. As he looked to uh, launch the break previously. Zagadou has done there. And that's a great ball into Cavani. And what a finish that is. Beats Bernardoni with PSG's probably their first chance of the game. And that makes things a little worrying. It would have been good to go in at the half with two goal advantage intact. But uh, we've, we've seen that this PSG side have got holes in them. Oh, lovely ball into Kazawa. He makes his way into the box. Cafu looks to read it. Back to Neymar. Tricks his way away from his man. And then Cavani with the second. And it's back to square one here. And yeah, not much you can do about that. Lovely footwork from Neymar. Tisserand's been so quality, but that is great work. No one saw Cavani, no one tracked him. Everyone mesmerised by the run. The PSG captain, Neymar. And uh, yeah, ooh, that's, that doesn't bode well. He did not like being scored on twice. And we're losing it here. We're losing it. So there we are, half-time here. And uh, yeah, two quick early goals from Clermont. Nullified in four minutes by uh, two Cavani strikes. It's not exactly how we'd seen this one playing out. It's been exciting, I'll admit that. Disappointing, though, to go in. Not in the lead after scoring two. PSG looked shaky to begin with, but then but then like a hornet's nest that had been poked. They, uh, they came at us pretty strong. And Cavani, if we give him any chance, he's going to keep scoring them. So we need to be very, very careful about allowing him the ball in the box. Come on, Clermont! And Cham into Nem. Not a bad pass. Caramo, lovely ball into Cafu. Inside to Nem now. Koyalapu round the corner into Cafu. Kozawa does well, but Cafu's won it back. Cafu cuts back now and Cham. He'll put a ball in looking for Koyalapu. Rabio does really well. Oh, and Cafu can't keep it in. Good work there. Good work. We need a win. We're going to have to go a little bit more attacking to try and get the three points here. It's do or die for us, surely. Nem just about finds Koyalapu. Koyalapu back into Nem. Oh, looks for Karamo. Oh, he's found him somehow. Back to Duarte, ball in, and Cham's there with the header. Oh, it's well over. Don't know how we managed to get a ball in or got the ball anywhere near the goal there. The chances are coming just about. So a couple of potentially risky changes, but we've got to try and win this now. We're going attacking. Emre Moore and Masunda on for Wellington then in attacking midfield. It's certainly adding some electric pace. Hopefully uh, some of these PSG defenders are a little bit tired. Masunda is making a decent run here. Can Duarte find him? He can. Charlie Masunda, ball in, looking for Koyalapu. Oh, oh, still not cleared. Caramo, no. <laughs> Probably had time to take a touch there. Ah, ha, ha. PSG looking very shaky in defence. It was a nice idea from the free kick. They really should have cleared it again. Kurzawa is having some game when it comes to defensive mistakes. Caramo shot those straight at the keeper. And Cham, this time with the outswinger. Looking deep. Big Zags! No! Oh my god. What a story that would have been. We're really pushing for the winner here. Zagadou completely unmarked. Heads it into the gloves of Areola. And we'll get a third opportunity here. Fifth corner of the game. We're going to try the old short one. Onto the head of Big Zags. Can this work? Zagadou looks to flick it on. It's going to fall to Doolin here. Oh! Oh my god. I can't believe it. Chance after chance. We just can't find the goal. That's sort of what we wanted. Doolin hit it hard. I don't know if that was a PSG player. It came off. So final roll of the dice. And it's a player we've not seen much of this season. He scored a few goals when asked to, asked to do so. Sibachu will come on. In this last 10 minutes here. Can we find what would be an incredible last goal? Koyalapu out to Masunda. Steps back onto the right. Puts it in. Looking for Emre Moore. Back to Sibachu. Moore. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. PSG are going to look to build a chance of their own here. They haven't had many in this second half. 
Ozil will find a ball out. Mounier gets there ahead of Duarte. No! Oh, Zagadou. Koyalapu heads away. And LD Maria now. Is there going to be a sting in the tail for Claremont? who have battled so well in this game. Really deserved to grab a goal. Oh, we can't get it away. Danger here. Mounier, great first touch. Duarte can't get to it. Rabio, Di Maria, no. Oh, skips away from Duarte. Good ball in. Back heel here. Duarte gets it away. But only as far as Verratti. He'll skip away from a couple of challenges. Neymar with the effort. Bernardoni, great save. Seconds left in this one. Sibachi wins a header. Oh, we get to it. Now in Cham. He'll find a ball over the top looking for Charlie Masunda. Gets there ahead of Mounier. Charlie Masunda to make himself a Claremont hero. And he's done it. 3-2 here in the fourth minute of extra time. And it looked like this game was done and dusted. We had so many chances. If anything, it looked like PSG might nick a goal at the end. But it's a man who we've seen very little of this season. The young Belgian. Oh, it's dreamland. It's dream time. With no time left for PSG to get back in it. It was great hold-up play. And then in Chan. Saw the run, the, fle the fresh legs of Charlie Masunda. Just did enough to hold off Mounier. I don't know if that's his, well, it's not his first goal, but he's not scored many. But he certainly won't score any more important in his career. This is the goal that now will take us within three points of PSG. With four games left this season. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, the drama. And there's no time left for PSG to reply. 3-2 in Clermont. It's a massive one -er. A titled six-pointer. And uh, you just... you you I don't know how we're managing to have so many exciting games at the end of the season. What is it? Is there some sort of algorithm? Late winners. Exciting, massive, high-scoring games. Just as things start to get exciting at the end of the season with all of these really important games. It's almost a bit too much for my heart. But yeah, amazing. Amazing work. Again, it's that do-or-die, never-say-never attitude that Kareem Diakra instills into her players and what a substitution that was giving Masunda a chance Sibachi gets a 4.5 off the bench I think he was involved in that break I think he maybe won the header in the build-up to find in Cham to get the ball through so he came on and did exactly what we wanted of him and uh, wow that that is quite incredible so there we go massive result there and as we said only three points now separate us and PSG. Monaco still on 70 points as well. We've got a pretty decent lead on them in terms of goal difference. We're only four goals now behind PSG as well. We've scored more goals than them, but we have conceded more as well. It's going to go down to the, uh, right down to the wire. So things don't get any easier. Actually, we can't take our eye off the ball now, as Marseille is always going to be a tricky game, especially away from home. Let's take a look at the sides. We've definitely struggled against Marseille. I remember it. Jermaine's a difficult, big, strong striker to play against. Dimitri Payet and Thovan out on the wings. Lopez in the set. It's a very good side. It's a very, very good side. But we're a very good side. And still we're plagued by low form. Still that comes back to haunt us. It looks like Holgate's not going to play again. Decore did okay, actually. No effect in Team Spirit bringing him in. Alcibiadi. We'll swap him with Tisserand. We are la lacking a stand-in right back. We've always said that is an issue. And then in Cham on poor form. I think this might be the time to bring in Toure. Toure Banassa. It's not ideal. Takes us down to uh, 90 overall. Berahino on a downward arrow. Wellington Nem wasn't great in the last game. But uh, we'll keep him in. And we'll uh, hand the captaincy today to Big Zags. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's o it's okay. It's okay. Ruben Duarte being pushed to the limit. He's obviously not happy with the amount of minutes he's having to play. Because we could bring in Big Zav at the back. That really takes us down now to 87 overall. We'll have him on the bench. Hopefully we can give... Duarte a rest once we've seen this one out. Other than that, okay, it's it's a decent one. It's decent. It's a shame not to have been chamming, though. I think even behind the scenes, probably things that you're not seeing, he's been absolutely huge for us in this great run that we're on. Can we keep it going here in Marseille? Let's have a look. So as I said, we can't afford to take our eye off the ball. This could be one that catches us out. I think Marseille are somewhere fifth or sixth. They're out of the running. But obviously a very, very tough team to play against. A lot of great players. Big Zags captains the side today. I think it's no less than he deserves. He's had his detractors. He's had his critics this season. But I think ultimately he's been pretty good. And he's, he's kept his place alongside Holgate. I like that back line. And they've done very, very well. Got a pretty good defensive record. Can we keep it going today under great pressure? Let's see. Straight away, Zags. 
in with the interception. Oh, and then Sakai does well, but Zagadou's won it back. Caramo now into the box. Oh, well, that's a lovely finish. And I've just realised I was calling him Zagadou the whole time because I'm too stupid to transition from talking about one player to another. But what a start here in the first two minutes. Oh, uh, uh, why am I so annoyed that I got that wrong? It doesn't matter. We scored a goal. Caramo nicks it back. Simple stuff here. And then what are you doing? Sakai's caught out. Caramo, bustling as he is, wins it back. Great finish. And the perfect start again. We've started strongly as we did in the PSG game. Can we uh, do a little bit more defensively, having started so strongly? Is that Rob Green in goal? It is Rob Green. He couldn't get down quick enough. It's a great finish. Caramo adds to his goal tally for the season. And we're off to a flyer. Payet steps away from Torre. Oh, that's a dangerous ball into Jermaine. Easy save for Bernardoni. Once again, though, we let the opposition straight back in after scoring. Oh, easy interception there for Wellington Nem. And he turns away neatly from Sanson. Duarte will look first time into Gubin Koyalapu. Battling with Doria, it's fallen to him. In now to Jan Caramo. Turns inside, looks to spin a curling shot. <sighs> Taking a good save from Rob Green this time to prevent the second. Jermaine, lovely first touch. Oh, finds Lopez, and that's a great finish. Well, that is an exceptional bit of centre forward play there from Jermaine. Decore couldn't get to it, and then we just didn't quite react there. And once again, we've scored and given up our advantage very, very quickly. Toure now. Into Gubin Koyalapu, flicks it into the path of the midfielder. Strong running from him, away from Doria. He'll get the shot off. Oh, it's hit the post. Oh, great running there from Torre. Powerful stuff. So close to getting that second goal. Oh, Wellington Nem, great interception. And now he's on his bike. Away from Tovan. Into Duarte. He delays the pass into Gubin Koyalapu. Sakai with him. Cut back inside. Goodwin Koyalapu. Oh, and again away from Sakai. To the line now. Low ball in. Looking for Caramo. <sighs> Great touch from the keeper. Rob Green doing his job that time. And it's going to be half time here in Marseille. Gutted to give away that goal. We've had... Well, actually, it's been very close. I was about to say we've dominated this one once again. As often we do. We've had far less passes than them. But we've been very efficient with it. Created chances. I think we can win this. But if we don't... And everything we did against PSG could well be lost. Come on, this is huge. Corner here for Marseille. It's going to be Dimitri Payet. We know he's got an excellent delivery. Few to aim for in the box. Decore backpedalling. Good header away from Duarte. Gustavo will put it back into the box. Not cleared. Abdenor will give it a go. But now we've got a chance to break. Wellington Nem. Short steps. Short legs. Has to turn back inside. Looks for the ball over into Jan Caramo. Battling with a Marvi. Can't get to it. Lopez. Benassa gets a foot to it. He's not going to get to that. He gets another foot to it. Great work. And then wins the header into Caramo. Lovely work there from Benassa. Caramo just about keeps hold of it. Cafu now can slip it into Benassa. He's got two to aim for in the box here. Abdenor with him. Cuts back inside of him once and then goes to buy him again. Back to Cafu. Time to look up. No, you've got to be beating the first man there. Jermaine does well, but Zagadou gets a foot in. Not cleared, though. Lopez, good ball into Sanson. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? How have we made so mistakes recently? So many mistakes. Duarte puts it past Bernardoni. I don't understand how that's possible. For fuck's sake. Toro down the line into Cafu. Just a step inside of Imavi. Koyala put the far post. Ball back to Jan Caramo. What an effort that would have been. And uh, Green gets to it. Oh, I can't believe that Duarte back pass. Should have just cleared it. Miscommunication between him and Bernardoni. It's an inexcusable mistake that could cost us a chance at winning the league. Near post. Zags looks to get it back. Duarte's going to get there. Is he? He does get to it eventually. Torre. No. Cafu gets there. No, that's the wrong ball. It'll do. Now Caramo with a chance to grab an important point here. Oh, he's off the post. No. No, it could be our last chance. Certainly likely to be our last and best chance. Ah. Payet now. Good ball in. A Campos. No, he's going to get to the rebound. Oh, it's over. 
The dream of Liga is over. I can't believe we've done this. Cannot believe we've done this. We've been playing so well. And to give it away with a stupid mistake from Ruben Duarte. And that's it. Oh, I don't I don't understand how that's possible. Ugh. Honestly, I've not seen we I've not played better football and also made more mistakes than we have in the last three or four episodes. It's amazing we got this far. But yeah, that's it. That's us done. Unfortunately. And uh, Monaco win, as do PSG. And we're going to slip now into fourth. Oh, out of the Champions League spots as well. It was uh, very finely balanced, has to be said. But that is us done. It's going to be the Cups now for us. Oh, the highs and lows. And that's it for us in the league. Well, we've still got semi-finals and a Coupe de France final to look forward to. But yeah, from the highs of beating PSG and putting ourselves in contention to the lows of a Ruben Duarte mistake, a player who's been so consistent for us. It's a shame, but that's life. That's football. I'll see you in a bit.